summer's over, cooler weather's here, football's on the TV, that means it's time for Dos Equis Baby Back Chili. Oh yeah! We're gonna start out with some seasoning for our ribs, for our baby backs. I'm using a Meat Church Honey Hog Barbecue. You need some mustard to bind it. Never use Heinz, always fresh, because Pittsburgh. So first thing we're gonna do is get our ribs ready. We're gonna remove the membrane here so that it's nice and tender. The easiest way I found to do this, use a spoon or a butter knife and get up under there, right on a bone, and use the paper towel method. Paper towel just gives you the friction peels right off. Easiest way to do that. So just work that membrane off. There we go. Pull it. This will make sure the ribs are nice and tender. Nobody gets anything stuck in their teeth. All right, got the ribs ready. Now we're gonna use our binder here. A little bit of mustard. You can also use a balsamic, it's worked pretty well. Just rub it in real good. Then we're gonna come back with our honey hog. Use any seasoning you want. This is my preferred. All right, we've let it set about 20 to 30 minutes. You want it to get close to room temperature and you want that seasoning and that meat to sweat just a little bit. Looks like it's ready for the smoker. We're gonna use our pellet grill this time here and this is my favorite combination. We've got cherry and Jack Daniels. Perfect blend for me. Uh, we're gonna smoke these ribs using the 3-2-1 process. So 3-2-1 just means that you're gonna put them on, smoke them for three hours, you're gonna pull them off, wrap them, cook them for another two hours, and take the wrap off, sauce them up, and put them back on for another hour, just to let that sit in. So you may hear about 3 2, one everywhere, that's what it means. Do yourself a favor after this, clean up your mess. Your significant other's gonna love you dearly, especially if she's like mine, can't stand raw meat on her counter. All right, we're about three hours in. Oh yeah, see this is what we're looking for. We want that meat to separate from those bones just a little bit. So once it starts to peel back a little bit, that's when you know that you've got it just about right. So we're gonna go ahead and get these things out of here and get them wrapped up for another couple of hours. And when we wrap, use an aluminum foil some people just wrap just as it is. Uh, others use uh, liquid to pour in there just to make it a little more tender. You can use an apple juice, uh, you can use a broth. I'm using pineapple juice just for the sweetness. We're just gonna pour in a can of pineapple juice. The key here is that you just wanna wrap it extremely tight. So get it as tight as you can, wrap it up on all sides. I double layer it, ready to go. We're gonna put these things back on the grill, wrapped, and they're gonna stay on here for another two hours. Keep it the same temp, 225 to 250, somewhere in there, and let those cook. All right, two hours later, let's pull them off and see what we've got here. There we go. Ooh, hot. Yeah, look at that. What a smell. All right, we're gonna sauce these things up. Sweet Baby Rays is my go-to if I don't make my own sauce. Just gonna cover this. After we get them sauced, we're gonna throw them back on the grill and let them cook for about an hour or so. So you can separate it. I normally just leave it on the foil so it doesn't separate and break. There we go, all right. See how tender we've got it. Yeah. Should pull right out. Just got a little bit of meat left on. I probably could have cooked it a little bit longer, but that's fine, we'll take it. Now we're gonna chop this up. We're gonna shred it so that we can add this meat to our chili. So I'm just gonna cut it here on the bones. It actually just falls apart pretty easy, so I'll just use my hands here and just piece it apart. There we go. Hard not to dig in on this just as it is. But trust me, the baby back in the chili is worth it. So here we go, we've got it all shredded up. Man, it looks good. All right, I think we're ready. So we're gonna set this aside here and uh, we'll throw this into the pot momentarily. Yeah, mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna start with three bell peppers, two sweet onions and two chili peppers. So this is the first thing I do is I saute these up here. 
So we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, the peppers. We're gonna dice them up. I like to leave my chunks a little bit larger than most. I don't like it minced. So I'll leave fairly good chunks, about three quarter of an inch or so. I like to use red, yellow, and green. Most people only use green and chili. I like all three colors. Okay, we're gonna take our onion, chop it up here. And again, I chunk this one. I, I leave pretty good sized chunks in my chili. So, two of these, I always use a nice sweet onion. Throw it in, a couple peppers. We're gonna set these to the side. We'll throw those into the chili. Now to saute up, I'm using three tablespoons of oil. This is an olive oil, but you can also use vegetable. And you also want uh, two tablespoons of garlic. If you can mince this yourself, it'd probably be better, but I'm a little lazy. I like the bottle. We'll just put this right in there. All right, there we go. Fire up the stove. One of the only meals you'll see me cooking inside. Saute this up. Oh, nothing better than peppers and onions and garlic sauteing. All right, we've got them. We're gonna throw those. Those are our first addition into our chili pot. And of course, you can't have Dos Equis in the name unless Dos Equis is one of the main ingredients. So pop your top on a bottle of Dos Equis and let's pour it on in. Sometimes I'll use two. Uh, it makes it a little bit of a thinner chili. Uh, this time I'm going a little bit thicker, so we're only gonna use the one bottle. Have a cup of coffee here, pour it in your Jesus holding a brisket mug if you have one. Go strong, you want this to be a real strong coffee. Let's pour this in. There we go. Next up, we are going to put in our maters. So we've got two 12 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. I like the fire roasted. Uh, so we're gonna pop the top on those and dump them right in. There we go. You also need a can of tomato paste, so 12 ounces. So you can use the two small little six ounce cans or if you can find one of these 12 ounce cans, throw it in there. Scoop it out, pop it right in. Here we go. Now we've got three cans of kidney beans. And I know what you're thinking. I thought you were from Texas. You're putting kidney beans in your chili? Well, you're damn right. Without beans, it's just manwich. So throw your beans in there and shut up. Now you need a cup of beef broth. There we go. Oh yeah, looking good so far. Now we're gonna start seasoning. So we're gonna use four tablespoons of chili powder. You can tell I like to measure. We're gonna go three tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah, that's about right, I guess. Next up, we've got a tablespoon of cumin. There we go. One tablespoon of cocoa powder. I know this is getting weird, hang with me. A half tablespoon of salt. I use the coarse. Half tablespoon oregano. That was a heavy pour, whoops. Two teaspoons of cayenne powder. I use this chipotle powder. You can use anything that has heat though. Then you're gonna go two teaspoons of coriander and your peppers, toss them in. All right, now you didn't think we were just going baby back for the meat, so I've got my grill fired up again. This time, we're throwing on our steak. You can use a sirloin. I'm using a flank here. You can really use whatever you want, but about a pound to two pounds. I season it with some salt, pepper, garlic. Just a quick little cook here. There we go, season on both sides. Doesn't take very long. We're gonna pull this off after maybe 10 minutes of cooking. There we go. Man, we've already cooked two meals and we haven't even started with the chili yet. Looks great. All right, let's chop this up. I'm gonna cube this, and you probably wanted about half inch cubes, maybe a little bit smaller. Let's check that out. Oh, oh yeah, that's looking great. All right. Cube it up. So between this and the baby backs, that's gonna give us our uh, protein. Don't forget the kidney beans. It'll give us our protein in the chili. Should be good. There we go. Now the trick is not eating all this before you dump it in the pot. All right, here we go. Final two ingredients. We've got our cube steak going in. And 
and we're gonna follow it up with our baby back. Oh yeah. All right, it's in there. Now let's give it a good stir. Let's mix it all up real good. After we get this mix, we're gonna go throw it on the throw it on the stove here. I've got it cooking at a high heat right now. You want it to boil. There it is. Yep, when you see that, you know you're in good shape. And we're gonna dial it back here, throw it on low, and we're gonna let this simmer for about three to four hours. That's good. Nobody wants burnt chili, so make sure to turn that down. And check this out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And the smell in the kitchen is amazing right now. All right, moment of truth. Let's give it a go. Couple scoops in my bowl here. Dumping it all over the stove. Jill will not be happy about that. That's all right, we'll clean that later. Now you can garnish this with whatever you want. Sour cream, some onions. I'm using cheese and some chopped up chili peppers. That's all I need. There we go. All right, I'm ready. Chips and some Dos Equis Baby Back Chili. Man, give this recipe a try, you guys. You won't be sorry.